Hey everybody, we're now in chapter two. In section 2.1, we're gonna be talking about verifying solutions. So if you're given a linear equation, and then you're given a solution to that equation, an easy way to check and see if the solution is correct is to plug in that value anywhere you see the variable and then simplify both sides to see if they turn out to be equal. If they're the same, then it is a solution. If the statement is not true, then it's not a solution. So let's start off with this example. We have x over three minus two is equal to four x over five. And the solution that we've been given is x is equal to negative four. So we're gonna plug in negative four anywhere we see x and then we're just gonna simplify both sides. So we have negative four over three minus two is equal to four times negative four over five. All right, so now we need to simplify this, turn this into a fraction, and we're going to find a common denominator and then combine these fractions. So we have negative four thirds minus six thirds. You can go ahead and do this on this side, 16 over five. Negative four thirds minus six thirds is going to give us negative 10 thirds is equal to negative 16 fifths. Now, in order to see if these two are equal or not, we have to find a common denominator. So the common denominator for three and five is 15. We're gonna multiply this side by five over five. That's gonna give us negative 50 over uh, 15. And then on this side, we're gonna multiply both of them by three over three. That's gonna give us negative 48 over 15. So this is not a solution. Now let's go and work on our next problem. We have the square root of t plus 13 is equal to 5t minus 11, and we're given a solution of t equals 3. So once again, we're just going to plug in 3 for all of our variables and simplify both sides. So we've got the square root of 3 plus 13 is equal to 5 times 3 minus 11. All right. 3 plus 13 gives us the square root of 16 is equal to 15 minus 11. And the square root of 16 is 4. 15 minus 11 is 4. This checks out. It is a solution. All right, we have one more. We have 6r plus 3 is equal to 4 times r plus 1, and our solution is 1 half. So let's plug this in and see what we get. So we get 6 times 1 half plus 3 is equal to 4 times 1 half plus 1. <clears throat> 6 times 1 half is 6 over 1. That's going to have given us 3. 3 plus 3 is equal to 4 times 1 half plus 1. Um, if we take this off to the side, we get 1 half uh, plus 1 over 1. We find a common denominator, that's going to be 2, so that's going to be 1 half plus 2 over 2. That's going to give us 3 halves. Put that over 1. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. We get 6 on this side, 3 plus 3 is 6, and so this checks out, and it is also a solution. All right, so this is verifying solutions. You will be given a solution to an equation. You plug that solution in to see if it's correct. If the statement at the end is true, it is a solution. If the statement at the end is not true, it's not a solution. Have a good day.